Hi, this is also in today I'll like to share how to obtain the moving total and moving average of the time series data using Kisho calculator. Let's consider this example. As we can see, we have three strips here, which means that this is odd number of season. For first moving total, we have to sum the first three and place the total at the middle, which means that the second row. Okay, let's go to menu. Look for the special function, which is number eight. On the first column, we enter all the data. So we have the first 105, 75, 210. 111, 78, 198, 99, 75, 201, 102, 84, and the last one, 216. Once we have done and the ring the data, move to the column B. As we can see, the total should start from their second row. Start from this and we sum the first three. So we go to option, look for fill formula number one. We have to press the option again and apply the sum function sum from their first row first column so column a from the first row until so we have to press alphabet to get a and alphabet to get this column so we press alphabet a until the third row so three apply to this which is the second column second row equal so we already have the formula here which is correct now we have to apply copy and paste function so go to option again so we copy this after that we press down paste we obtain the correct value, go down, paste, 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 go down, paste. So as we can see, we already obtained all the moving order. Now let's move on to get there moving average so what we have to do here is we go to option again so before that escape because as we can see this is now the copy paste function so escape okay no more and only we can go back to option so fill formula again for this time we should apply we press again the option apply the mean function which is the average function number three so we have the alphabet a one two alphabet a three so obtain as we can see 103 again apply the copy paste function so we have copy paste number two copy move down paste 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 and move down paste okay so we have already completed for the odd season 
Now let's try for even CC. So again, before that, we have to clear. So go back to the special function. As for this case, we need a space in between. So 105, then here leave empty, 75, then leave empty, 210, leave empty, 111, leave empty, 108, leave empty, then 85, 220, 150, 104, 88, 245. The last one, 148. For the total, we should place at the middle of the sum. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. So middle should be here in between the second and the third. So in between second and the third. So it should be column B. Row number four. Before that, we have to remember from which row to which row we apply the summation. So row one to row seven. Okay. So in between here, apply the sum. Option fill formula again. Then option again, apply the sum function four. We sum from first row until row number seven apply so we have obtained the total then again option we now copy paste so we have copy paste function move down remember to leave a space paste Move down, paste. 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 So we have already completed the sum. Now remember escape and move on to the next. Unlike the previous example, if let's say we lazy to press so many things, we can straight away apply the formula, take this and divide it by 4. So the previous example, we can actually take the sum and divide it by 3. So let's try option, fill formula, which is, now we add column C row 4. So we apply column B row 4 divided by 4. Okay, because we take the total of 4 values. So for the previous example, we can divide 3 equal. So already obtained, then again apply the copy function. So option copy and paste. So copy, move down, paste. As we can see, it's still correct. Paste, 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 done. Okay, the last one, the move central moving average. And let's say we want to sum these two. So we can see that from filter to average, we divide 4. From average to center average, 
we divide 2. Divide 4, divide 2, meaning to say divide 8 in total. So we can actually take the sum of the second column and we straight away go to the fourth column. So let's try. We have option here. Fill formula again. Then we apply the sum function for. Okay, so from the fourth row of column B to sixth row of column B divided by eight. As we can see, so column B, fourth row, column B, sixth row. Then divided by 8, divided by 4, divided by 2, divided by 8 in total. So as we can see, this number is not clear enough because we can have only two decimal places. But doesn't matter, let's find out how to solve this later. We proceed to get all this number first. So again, copy the formula, copy, paste, 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 and paste. So we have done all this. Okay, now let's try and find out how to obtain the value so that we can see the exact value. Okay, remember again, I have to exit this. So from here, now let's option look for grab function. We want to grab this value. So move to this and press enter equal so we obtain the value so again option this is a little bit troublesome so grab equal so again option grab equal and so on okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like it see you